Tonight. It's just 11 o'clock PST right now. Um, I'll wait a minute or two for the rest of the registrants to hop on and then we'll get started. I'm just gonna go ahead and share my screen. Get all set up, should be good to go. We hope all of our attendees that have jumped on thus far are having a great Wednesday. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, it's, a, it's a minute after. So um, welcome to Find and Select Better Materials today, uh, free training by Ecomedes. So my name is Haley Holberton and I'm a client success manager with Ecomedes. Um, you can see my email there, haley at ecomedes.com if you have further questions um, after the training's over. Little bit of housekeeping items. Um, we are recording this session right now. So uh, you guys will be all sent the recording after this to, to review if you'd like. Um, I ask please to stay muted during the program and uh, feel free to enter questions and interact with each other on the chat. Um, so, and just to reiterate, the, the one GBCI general CEU credit is accomplished with this. Um, and here is just some information that you may need when reporting um, that you attended the CEU um, for, to get that lead credit. So really quickly, I'm going to stop share and I'm going to launch a poll that I would love all of you to answer. So I just launched the poll. You all should be able to see that on your screen come in. Um, please answer the questions. I'll give you guys a minute or two to accomplish that. And I can see answers rolling in. Nice. All right. Got majority participation here. That's pretty good, I think. Five, six, seven. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And I'll share the results with you guys um, after the training's done. So let's hop back in to the presentation. So here are some course objectives that we're going to be going over today. Um, you guys are going to gain these following skills, a background and understanding of how the USGBC Better Materials platform is constructed from industry certification data, um, when to use this tool for material selection, uh, have a streamlined ability to document, document certain lead contributions for building products via the Verified for Lead program, which I'll go over. Um, we'll review some lead credits that require product transparency and documentation and how that information is supported through the Better Materials platform. And then I'll do a live demo of materials for lead. Um, and I'll show you how you can discover building materials that meet certain project sustainability goals, conduct comparisons, uh, analyze energy and water impact of building materials, and ultimately create documentation that can be submitted on lead, lead projects. So 
Better Materials program was designed to support the project teams looking to more easily and effectively deliver lead projects. The three main drivers of the mission were to accelerate project workflow, simplify the search, analysis, and documentation on lead projects, scale how quickly project teams could implement lead compliant solutions. So the industry challenge faced by project teams is that lots of various teams and team members are out doing the sustainability scavenger hunt, as we call it. The project teams made up of dozens of team members engage hundreds of trade contractors, distributors, and manufacturers to source the materials and products for a typical commercial project. So this process is complicated, time-consuming, and highly repetitive which is why um, these tools have been built. So kind of an overarching project team challenge we've seen is on average, a project team has to access at least 25 pages of product documentation and interpret up to 45 parameters. And this has to be repeated for every single project. So the USGBC research pulled this um, and found this stat very impactful. And ultimately the USGBC wanted to make this process easier and more automated. So GBCI wanted to make the search of lead aligned products and solutions easier. GBCI also wanted to help lead project teams be able to find product data um, and make it just a lot easier. And the better material search allows a user to get results from several different partners all at once. So this is similar to how travel sites like Expedia, Priceline, Travelocity, and how those work, where one search searches many sites. So Ecomedes is one of those data partners. And today we'll share with you how our platform works, um, similar to all the rest of them. Quickly just wanted to show you what that search bar looks like here on the GBCI site, um, bettermaterials.gbci.org. Um, so that's that single search bar there. If you wanna save that URL. And then Better Materials is ultimately powered by these partners. So these five partners power this program, each have their own technology platform themselves. Uh, and today we will cover how Ecomedes, one of the one of the partners, has been configured to serve the USGBC community. And our platform is configured by a wide variety of industry segments to simplify search analysis and documentation. So the Better Materials landing page search bar engages all five platforms simultaneously and provides the results set across the top of your page. Each partner database has a different mix of data and certifications depending on how their platform is built. And you can see that here on the slide with uh, multiple different uh, layouts of landing pages and kind of how the data is organized. And uh, what we see usually is um, someone prefers a certain layout and view of data over others and whatnot, but all are very helpful and, and, and provide very similar information. So another pro important program that was also launched uh, was called Verified for Lead. This program has GBCI reviewers evaluating green product documentation and creating a summary of their findings, indicating lead credit compliance for project teams preemptively. So sort of that, that one single page with all lead compliance and credit, contribution, credit contributions already indicated. So now I'm gonna provide you a little bit of an overview of the platform, of our platform on Ecomedes. So materialsforlead.ecomedes.com is a curated catalog of products from our main database. And it only features brands and products that have eco-label certification and performance data that is featured in lead rating system credits. So those products have been digitally reviewed for compliance and contrib on contribution um, potential based on their data. And then product and project documentation can be performed for free on our platform. 
and I'll be going and doing a live demo um, after we review some lead credits in a, in, a, in a bit, so I can show you how it works. So we're going to cover four major credits within lead building design and construction today. And these credits are structured similarly across all lead versions, but we'll, we'll focus on the, the implications for version 4.1, the most recent. So we'll start with materials and resources with EPDs, environmental product declarations, uh, the sourcing of raw materials credit, material ingredients, and then we'll end with indoor environmental quality on low emitting materials. So the verified for lead pilot products are featured as the top left-hand navigation filter on our site. Uh, a user can further refine their search by product category, certification, uh, eco-label brand. And 427 products are currently verified for lead in that pilot program, um, consisting of 15 manufacturers who were participants. Um, and these products were, of course, all, um, all reviewed with their performance data and analyzed by GBCI to be in compliance with this program. And you can kind of see the category breakdown there of the pilot participants, uh, building finishes, furnishings, um, one construction material, and, and, and doors and windows. So the first credit we'll cover is a very popular one within the lead rating system, and it focuses on, uh, you know, it's under the material and resources credit and it's focused on environmental product declarations. The credit documentation is a requirement and it's focused on uh, LCAs, which is life cycle analysis, and EPDs, environmental product declarations. And depending on the type of LCA and EPD, the product has achieved and its optimization level can, contributions can, can absolutely vary. So this is the option one under here that gives you one point um, if you provide the EPD. So here uh, you can see it's option two for the same credit, uh, which is if you provide LCA, life cycle analysis or embodied carbon information. And the table that you see here on the slide outlines the report type and value that the lead credit would calculate against. The materials for lead Ecomedes platform automatically collects and curates products with EPDs and lifecycle analyses for the user. So within each subfilter on the left-hand navigation, you will find number of compliant products. Results can be further filtered down here by category, subcategory, the type of EPD, um, brands, et cetera. So the next credit we'll, we'll take a look at is focusing on the sourcing of raw materials. And there are, are a variety of documentation drivers for this credit, such as extended producer responsibilities, bio-based, certified wood, materials reuse, and recycled content. So there are a variety of document documentation drivers, again, for this credit, uh, such as those bio-based automated product catalogs, the certified wood automated product catalogs, um, recyclability percentages, um, and that is all able to be filtered through the certifications and eco-labels dropdown in the left-hand navigation on materials for lead.ecomedies.com. You can search for FSC, buyer preferred, um, and even by CSI division. So now we'll take a look at material ingredients credit. Uh, that option one here on the, the one point option one, you would need to use at least 20 different permanently installed products from at least five different manufacturers. Um, that'll get you one out of two points. And you can look at everything from uh, BIFMA level, C to C, Declare, HPD, Living Product Challenge. Um, and you could even refine by C to C levels and of course the category and subcategory for, for, for the products.
option two for this credit, um, it would be using at least five permanently installed products sourced from at least three different manufacturers. Um, and again, sort of that, that same one of the option two of the option one is, is C to C declare HPD living product challenge, um, reach and glo global green tag. Those are all options for you to find information. Um, and that will, that will tell you that this credit will be fulfilled. So here is the kind of same workflow I just showed you on the, the uh, material ingredient credit, but I'll, I'll move along to indoor air quality credits. So for low emitting materials, <clears throat> that's three points possible um, under the air, indoor air quality credits category, you would use materials on the building interior, everything within the waterproof membrane. Um, and that th those materials need to meet these low emitting criteria that you see below and points are according to, to that table. So the, the, with the possible three points, some information that you can kind of drill down to get closer to that credit compliance is uh, VOC emission evaluation that is often uh, you see uh, shown as maybe SCS Indoor Advantage Gold or UL Green Guard, um, but in 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 technical speak, that is the CDPH version one um, to 2017 compliance. Because um, so you can have that compliance without purchasing a a large certification as such and still be CDPH compliant. But that's basically what that means. Um, some VOC content evaluation can be made um, with for, 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 uh, formaldehyde emissions um, under the EPA. And a lot of product categories here that um, will have these designations and wh where people would care about this is paints and coatings, adhesive ceiling, sealants, flooring, wall panels, ceilings, insulation, furniture, wood. So, so all those kind of indoor space materials. And then here we have the possible three points kind of shown into the, the left-hand navigation. So you can filter by BIFMA, again, UL Green Guard Gold, SCS Indoor Advantage Gold. Um, that'll get you a step closer to those compliant products. Um, and then of course, refining it by the, the overarching brand CSI division categories. So at this point, I'm going to hop over to the actual website to show you guys some examples. So here is the site, materialsforlead.ecomedies.com. Feel free to hop on as well along with me um, or not, whatever you'd like. Um, the, the first thing you're gonna wanna do once you get up here is, is log in because it, it's totally free but you're gonna to wanna to log in to make sure that you can save your information going forward. So it'll just take you to this page here. If you do not have a um, login yet, you can press sign up down here, or you can just log in with your existing login. Um, and it should be the same throughout all Ecomedes portals because we have many. So now that I'm logged in, that means I'm able to fully download any product documentation and work with the projects feature. So I'll take you guys through the, the left-hand navigation at first. So you can filter directly by any verified for lead products here. Um, at the top, there's 294 products right now in here for, for that are verified for lead. And that's the this is the only portal here that exists where you can filter for, for that. And you're able to do USGBC rating systems. Um, so you can click into lead version four, B, D, and C, let's say, I don't know, retail. And I'll basically drill you down all the way for all products that meet certain credit requirements here. Um, so that's helpful sometimes when people are very specific and know exactly what they need, what credits they need to fulfill with an exact product. That's just an, an option for filtering. 
And then here's where most of our users um, kind of land initially is the category sections. So let's say we're looking for some building finishes. It'll give me a result of 79,921. Um, but then from when, once you click into a category, the subcategory and product type filters will show up. So you can drill down even further from building finishes as that's a very vast um, category. There's a lot of different information you can pull from here, um, as well as product type. So it's usually helpful to start with subcategory and then go to product type from there. But I'll just X out of that so we can start fresh. Um, and then certifications and equal labels here. So we have a very vast array of different certifications and eco labels. Um, we, we try and capture as many different systems as possible and frameworks as possible in here, because we know there are a lot of them and um, it very much depends on, on the user base and, and who's using what, but just being more holistic about it is, is the call right now. So um, we have almost everything in here that you would need when it comes to certifications and eco labels. And uh, this information is pulled by uh, pulled from over 80 different certification bodies themselves. So the majority of the information coming in here is from third party um, certification eco label bodies that is feeding us data, such as the Health Product Declaration Collaborative, um, SCS, UL, TalksNot. Um, WAP consulting and, and the list goes on. So that, that, that's where we're getting all the initial data. And then we also pull data in from brands directly when they are a part of our network. So the next thing I'm gonna show you here is the way you can compare two products against each other. So I'll just hop into building furnishings here. Let's do a comparison of, let's see. Maybe let's do, no, trying to look at something that is most helpful. Maybe wall coverings, nope. Let's do some stuff with images. As you can see, there's lots of things with, without images and that's due to you know, um, information coming in from third-party sources that don't have enough data with images. Let, let's just go here. So let's do a, a bench product. Here you can see this is the search results page of the filters I've chosen. So we also like to call these squares baseball cards. So you'll hear me referring to, to these as baseball cards and, and you can see all the verified for lead products show up first. Uh, but I will add a couple of products into a comparison. So with this add to button here, you can add it to a comparison and uh, the baseball card will turn blue. Let's do maybe a chair. And a monitor arm. So for this example, as you can see, this, this this tool can be used in a couple different ways. So I've added three things into a comparison. At the top, I'll press view comparison, and it'll spit out a uh, vertical kind of next to each other data view of everything. So. You can use this in a couple different ways. Like I just said, uh, some people use it as to actually compare like products. Um, so maybe you would do two different chairs from two different manufacturers, or maybe the same manufacturer, but has very different data. Um, and that's just an easy way that helps people make decisions on which products to choose and specify ultimately. And then some people use it, maybe like in this example, where they know that they're building this office space um, creating this spec of building materials. And these are three different materials that they're thinking of adding in, um, but they need to send this information out to somebody. This URL up here at the top can be sent to anyone. They don't have to be logged in or anything. And it'll take them right to this screen 
Um, so this is just another way that's really easy to share information of multiple products at once out, out to anyone who may need it. All the links are here with all the certifications and whatnot. And then I'll, 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 I'll hop us into a product page now. So let's just go into, let's do a human scale product. So here's a chair product we have in the system. So once I click into here, we call this the product detail page. The general information is at the top. You can see a description. You can see the SKU number, the brand. Um, you are able to add it to a comparison from this page as well, if you'd like. You can contact the manufacturer with this button. If, we, if, if, if our database has information for contact, um, for contact emails, we'll be able to connect you. And then you're also able to just straight download a PDF of this entire page. You can see it just downloaded straight to my computer. Um, and that PDF will be branded at the top and all the links, whenever I show you a PDF that's downloaded from this, from this page, these pages, all the links to the different certifications will stay live. Uh, so you're able to, to go straight to any certification you need, no matter who you send this to. And then I'll show you a little bit about how this data is organized. We have this general information at the top, contact information, whatnot. You can go straight to the product page on the manufacturer's website. You can see recyclability and packaging information. You can see the lead summary sheet here and any and all technical information. So certifications, uh, performance data, life cycle assessments, lots of external links out to third-party uh, data managers um, and certification bodies. And then if you hover over any of these links here or any of this data at all, you can see where the data is actually coming from and how recent it was refreshed. So we can see here, this level, BIFMA level certification is coming in straight from SES, Global Services, and it was refreshed as of the 17th of September of this year, so a couple of days ago. So when you wanna do any sort of documentation for these products, against a rating system, you're able to do so by clicking this documentation button. So I'm gonna press documentation and I'm going to see if this product helps me contribute to any of these lead credits. So I'll do a BDNC healthcare, why not? Just as an example's sake, we have lots of different lead rating systems in here, um, the older ones and the newer ones. Um, you're able to put your zip code of either the project you're working on or wherever you are, and then just press document. It'll spit out a sort of evaluation here where it has all the information um, that I previously showed you on the product page. You can press hide details though, and here is the, here's the gold mine. This is where you are able to see exactly how this product contributes to this rating system that you chose down to the credit level. So we can see materials and resources for building product disclosure and optimization on the environmental product declarations um, with the life cycle assessment and their, and their ISO designations, they're getting that credit. For the sourcing of raw materials, this product contributes material ingredients, they're contributing due to their HPD as well for their option two for count and cost, and then as well as some further ones such as furniture and uh, medical furnishings on materials and resources. And then for indoor environmental air quality for the low emitting materials, it is also contributing to that credit. So this would be a great product to spec if you are looking for lead version 4.1 uh, building, building design and construction for healthcare. And then this PDF can be downloaded again, like I showed you before. Um, and that evaluation is at the bottom. And again, all the links stay live to whoever you send this out to. 
So finally, I'm going to show you, um, I clicked back to the home page here. I'm going to show you how you can use the projects feature. So the projects feature up here at the top, you must be logged in to use it. Um, but once you come here, you're able to add products directly into large projects and, and kits, basically. Um, so I'll show you kind of how you first add a product. Um, let's just go to maybe construction materials. So say I want to add one of these, um, an, an, an AEP span metal or a steel roof envelope to my project. I can add to project from the baseball card search results page, or I can add to project from the product detail page. And if you need to create a new project, that's how you would do it here, create new project, or as I've already made for us today, a better materials demo, if you have an existing project already in there, you're able to add that there as well. But like I said, I've already created a project for us to review today. And um, we'll look at some of the energy and water savings as we go through it. Um, but if you do add any products that contribute or, or, or use energy and water, so plumbing systems, HVAC, um, you, you name it, it's going to, the, soft, the software will tell you based on a baseline, how much energy you'd be saving by using this product um, and then contribute and then uh, translating that into dollars saved. So right now we can see for this one project, here's our energy and water savings. Um, and you can get more into the weeds in with it once you enter into the project itself. So I just titled it this for demonstrations purposes, better materials demo. You're able to write notes in here, any, any information about the project square footage, uh, zip code, client name, street address, any descriptions around it, press save. And then here I've just added a ton of different uh, products. So you're able to add quantity and price information in here if that's needed. Most people actually do not use the quantity and price um, tool, but it's able to be used in case you do have that information and you want to provide a total cost estimate uh, to whoever you're sending this information to. Um, that's available to do in this uh, in this tool, but by no means do you need to have any information in there to, to produce the evaluation. So I sort of just added a ton of different products here that, that could possibly go into maybe an office space um, and did with a couple different kind of categories of products. So once we go down here, you can see the energy impact calculator. This is telling us with all the different products uh, here at the top that are using different energy, uh, different energy sources, we can see over time, maybe through the next year, your savings monthly and yearly. You're able to put a comparison baseline here. So maybe something that this space is already using, uh, you can put the criterion into this software if you know exactly the different wattages, um, the kilowatts used um, and whatnot, and compare that to the baseline and that'll just help do a more specific analysis if you do have that information, but we, we always provide kind of this rough one with the kind of averages that we've gotten from, from the industry. And then at the bottom here is where you can do the full rating system evaluation. So I've just chosen lead version for building design and construction data centers, so it can also be office. Um, but of course we have lots of different ones you can choose from, um, but here's just, an example. So, uh, oh, and you're you're also able to add more than one. Um, but sometimes with a, with a lead credit uh, evaluation, you just kind of have have one for each. So I'll press evaluate here so we can see the outcome. As you can see, if you did put price information, it'll give you total cost. It will tell you the product uh, the project information that you put in put into the top of that original project screen. If you decide to, it'll list out all of the products and then it'll tell you kind of as a whole how these products are contributing. Some are contributing to certain credits, some aren't. 
Um, and then an overall savings based on that energy impact and water impact um, calculation that the software does. So once you get down to the product level here, so let's say this American Standard faucet. So I can see it has all the technical information here that I'd want to see on the product. But if I press hide details there, it'll tell me how this exact product contributes into which credit. So I can see that this faucet contributes to indoor water use reduction, WEP2 and WEC2 credits. And the list goes on. So from there, you want to download this PDF at the top, just like I showed you previously. It'll download this entire evaluation report. Um, all the links stay live again um, to any certification. Um, and that's able to be sent out to whoever may need it. So that concludes my, my live demo. Uh, if you're ever in need of support, there's always a support button down here at the bottom that takes you right to the Ecomedes customer support, uh, customer support folks. Um, and that's closely monitored. So if you're ever needing help, please reach out. So I'm just gonna jump back here and do our post presentation poll questions. I have to stop share to launch that poll. Um, let's see this presentation poll. I'm going to launch it here and I'll just give you all a couple moments to answer. All right, we got 50% participation. I'll wait a couple more seconds to see if some more answers roll in. All right, it looks like most everybody. Thanks everyone. So, to conclude our presentation, I know we're, we're, we're 20 minutes early, but that's all right. Um, I'll give you guys back 20 minutes of your day. Um, you will still achieve this one GBCI general CEU credit. Um, again, if you need this information, please, please screenshot this right now if you need it directly. Um, but I'll also be sending out this entire deck as well as recording to you. Um, so don't worry about missing any information or, or wanting to review it and everything. And finally, if you have any questions, um, please contact Paul at ecomedias.com. He is our chief innovation officer who usually does these, um, projects. Oh, and I see, can we get slides? Absolutely. I will be sending out the slides and recording out to all registrants and attendees. Um, so you will all have this information at your fingertips and, and please don't hesitate to share uh, the slides out or recording out to anyone in your network who may uh, feel like this benefits them. So, so please do, um, you'll be getting everything. Um, and then again, my email, it's not on this slide here, but it's on the slide previously. It's H-A-L-E-Y, Haley at ecomedies.com. And, and we can both answer most questions that people have around, um, around this information that we went over today. Does anyone else have any further kind of immediate questions you want answered um, at this time?
All right. Awesome. I'm so glad I saw another anonymous in here. Good timing. I'm so glad. <laughs> Yeah, please reach out if you if if you if you want to do any kind of collaboration or or have just further questions. Um, I'm not sure of the of the demographics here of these attendees, but if anyone's going to be at Green Build in San Francisco in the next couple months, um, I think it's the first week in November. I will also be there, um, so don't hesitate to come say hi. Okay, and I got another question from Sarah. Just to clarify, can the lead verified summary sheets be submitted directed? with our lead material submission, or do we still need to provide all the certifications? That is a really great question. Um, I believe that the lead summary sheet does, is able to be directly submitted with a lead material submission, um, but I can check on that for you and respond back, Sarah, over email. The database is not only for the US, 90% um, of our users are based in the United States, but it is an um, international platform. Yes, someone wants to see one more time how to get the lead verified summary sheet. Absolutely, let's go look at that. All right, so if I need a summary sheet for, the, for a verified for lead pro, uh, product, I can, I'll just go here to this filter. It'll show me all the different verified for lead products here. Um, so let's just do, you click in to any product, scroll down, and you'll see under this icon, that's like a little first place badge. It'll say verified for lead documentation, lead summary sheet here. It's coming right from GBCI external link you press the external link there and it'll take you right to the lead summary sheet for for whatever product you need so yeah all the technical information um, is is grouped under these kind of we call these impact icons um, we and we try to be very holistic about how to to show information so if you have any certain certifications or technical information, it'll be under these two uh, icons. And then general information is always under that, that yellow eye there. Um, but yeah, all those verified for lead summary sheets are all attached here. I am going to throw my email address in the chat. Yes, of course. Haley at ecomedies.com. Also feel free to reach out to Paul at egomedies.com. So no problem. Um, I saw people, uh, I, I got cut off. It is an international platform. Um, anyone is able to use it across the world, but we do see in our data analytics around 90% of our users on a month to month basis are um, generally the architectural and design community, and they are United States based 90% of them. It's, it's interesting because a lot of international European Asian um, certifications compliances it's, it's very vast. And we don't have all the different international certifications in our system yet. Stay tuned, we're working on it. Um, it's, it's our goal to be international eventually with, with all the information that you'd possibly need. But um, right now it's, it's definitely more geared towards a US market and, and used mostly by a US, the US market. All right, clarification, the materials for lead.ecomedies.com is a completely separate website than the normal ecomedies.com website. Yes. So you do not need to be in the materials for lead.ecomedies.com site in order to get the lead summary reports. You're also able to go to our main site, um, any of our buyer sites actually, um, we build different portals for, for different people. So the materials for lead.ecomedies.com portal was specifically built for the Better Materials program uh, for, for GBCI, USGBC. 
So we built this specifically for them. It's very lead focused, but as you know, there's a ton of different other rating systems that, that people need like um, LBC Red List. Um, there's a lot of them. So, you know, well, Living Building Challenge. Um, uh, Green Globes. So we don't have the those rating systems in this portal. This is much more geared towards the lead project. But if you go to products.ecomedies.com, um, the, the one that we've built for the federal government for the for the GSA is SF Tool, Sustainable Facilities Tool, .ecomedies.com. Um, and our products are pretty much, depending on the different, um, you know, for example, if a product isn't lead compliant, it's probably not on here. But if you go to products.ecomedies.com, that has literally everything we have in our database, um, including all the products that are in here. Um, and you're able to find lead summary sheets on the applicable products that have them on any of the buyers on any of the buyer sites. All right. I don't see any further questions. I see someone's telling me that the chat is disabled. I wasn't aware of that. I'm not sure I can re-enable it while we're in the meeting. Um, but if you'd like to answer more questions or, or, or ask anything else to me, um, please reach out by, at my email. I think I'm able to use the chat. Um, sorry about that. Um, Yeah, so my name is H A L E Y, Haley at egomedies.com. That's my email. I think I've I dropped it in the chat again. I'm not sure if, yeah, it looks like. Oh, of course, technologically challenged me was not writing it in the correct place. <laughs> it was sending it to the hosts and panelists and not to everyone. So now you should be able to see my email in the chat. All right. I'll stay on for the next like three minutes um, and then I'm going to end the CEU. Um, just next three minutes, if you have any last minute questions, please, please drop them in. But I just really appreciate you all being here today. Um, and I'm glad to that you guys all have another lead CEU credit under your belt. Um, and I ultimately really, really, really hope that materials for lead.ecomedes.com and Ecomedes and the Better Materials program as a whole through the GBCI can, can really help you guys start saving time, help your teams save time and, um, you know, fight climate change at the same time as well. I do not believe that this will automatically be reported to USGBC. Um, I'll check back with Paul. He does a lot of the kind of background work on this, um, but I believe you do need to report. Um, Mary, please send me an email if you're, if you're still confused and I can get back to you um, with a more detailed response. No problem.